Here I have a YOLO phone. Uh, it's running itself, it's operating system. So it's a mobile Linux operating system. Uh, it's a continuation of Amigo, like Digital and Nokia used to do. Uh, spec wise, it's quite standard smartphone. You have 4.5 inch display, uh, it's QHD. You have 8 megapixel autofocus uh, camera. You have, you have a, a dual core Qualcomm uh, processor. Uh, one gigabyte of memory. Um, what makes a uh, selfie operating system special is uh, that it's very gesture based. So we, we want to enable the gesture, uh, the one handed use as much as possible. So, for example, you um, wake up the display by double tapping. Um, you could use also the power key, but it's good to learn the gestures because it makes the device much easier and more effortless to use. Um, Selfies has a vertical home screen, so you have watch screen where you have your uh, status indicators. Then we, if we unlock the device, uh, you can see the, all the running applications. I have here six, six applications running. And when we continue again, uh, you can see the, all the installed applications. So um, we support, uh, we are a Linux based operating system, so there's a link with native Linux applications on the top and in the bottom you can see that we also support running Android applications. So we have an Android runtime for uh, running the most, pop your most like, popular um, Android applications. Um, now um, if I open an application, um, you can see that here uh, there is no back button or a home key. Instead uh, we use something, uh, we use a lot of gestures. So here I can push over the edge of the screen to go back to home. So always when you are in any kind of application, I can open another application, I push over the edge of the screen to go back home. It works the same for left-handed uh, people as well as right-handed. And the nice thing about gestures is that the reactive area of, of this is the whole screen edge. So it doesn't matter if you are left, uh, if you have a small hands, large hands, and you can just push over the edge of the screen. Nowadays the devices are, are really big, like people want, uh, the, the uh, displays are really big, sorry. So people want, uh, want the content in a, a big displays, but it's not always with one handed use, it's not easy to access buttons. So gestures are nice because it doesn't matter, uh, there's much larger uh, reactive estate. Um, other example is the, um, um, sorry. Um, is that you, you can see that in applications we don't have toolbar. Instead we have something we call a uh, pulling menu. So uh, again this is gesture based so you can drag down to access the functionality. So uh, you can do it easily with uh, one handed um, without, um, you can do it in the bottom part of the display as well as uh, top part. So um, it's re really easy to use in a uh, one handed way. Um, it, it has a um, audio and haptic feedback for, um, for, so you learn it in your muscle memory. So what we have done is we have implemented the gestures very consistently across the interface and in different applications. So, uh, so that you quickly learn that for example in messages the first item is make a new message. Uh, in uh, calendar it's make a new calendar event. So you, you know that you just pull down a little bit to do the, to do the uh, action. Uh, other example of gestures is uh, we have something we call cover actions. Uh, this allows you to quickly access the most common functionality of the applications. For example, in messages, I can quickly uh, start typing a message, new message. In uh, phone application, I can use this shortcut to quickly start typing. Uh, sorry, wrong uh, here phone application. Uh, I can quickly start uh, dialing a num uh, number. So. Um, Again, this allows for really quick and effortless uh, way of using the device. Uh, so this uh, effortless interaction is one of the key selling points. Other key selling point is um, something we call the other half. So if you look at the device, you can see that it's made of uh, two uh, parts. So the uh, bottom part comes off. And what's nice about it is that uh, this allows you to, um, this is an intelligent cover. So, um, this, they have um, they published specifications and uh, SDK for um, 
for uh, making these kind of um, uh, hardware uh, other co uh, other halves. So you have a power connector, you have data pins, so that um, third party and community and other companies can um, come up with other halves with have good example have a better camera, larger battery, uh, physical keyboard, and then different kind of hardware features. So not only can you extend the software by uh, building applications, you can also extend the hardware. So if you want, for example, the hardware keyboard, you wouldn't need to buy a new device. You should just you buy a new cover to, to uh, extend, uh, extend your device. Um, third uh, key selling point is the um, is uh, customization. So we allow much deeper customization than um, and, and, and styling than uh, competitor uh, platforms. So uh, here is an, one example is a Makia fashion label cover. Um, so I attach a, a Makia cover and it will automatically uh, change the wallpaper and the whole user interface coloring to match the brand. Um, it also installs uh, something we call partner space, so you can follow that brand. Uh, um, so, for example, uh, if, you, if you would buy a other half of uh, your favorite soccer team, you could uh, use the, the uh, partner space to follow what uh, score in the game, um, uh, what's happening with your team. Um, other example we are te today demonstrating is uh, it's, uh, Angry Birds other half. So you attach an Angry Birds other half and it will cha uh, change the uh, sounds of the device to, uh, uh, to the match the Angry Birds sounds. Uh, it will install Angry Birds games um, and, and you can follow social, uh, social feeds of the, um, your, your favorite Angry Birds games. Um, and, and the wallpaper will um, match the, uh, your favorite characters. And, and for example, you have a bad piggy which is green, then the device the interface would be green. So here's an example I already uh, accidentally uh, changed the uh, wallpaper. So when, when you um, change the wallpaper, you can see that we, our algorithm, um, we have a, how do I say, um, we pick from colors from the wallpaper so that it, it styles the whole interface. So many other platforms, you uh, you can change the wallpaper, you can maybe change the color of the uh, some labels, but you don't get this kind of deep integration. Uh, we built all the applications and the whole in the user experience that operating system ourselves. So we can do we can do really like um, full uh, styling, customization, and also the um, sounds and um, so. It's, for customers, it means that you can uh, like extend device, make it feel fresh. You add a uh, red cover, and uh, the whole device turns red uh, to match your clothing. Uh, for operators, it means that they have they can really customize and make make it follow their brand. Okay, uh, thank you.